let's try to show that 0 0.5 is equal to 1 half. We often hear people use these interchangeably. They use them back and forth. Maybe someone would say, I have a 2.5 pound rat. And then someone would say back to them, wow, a 2.5 pound rat, that's enormous. If we get past thinking about how enormous that rat is, what we can notice is they first said 2.5 and then they changed it to 2.5. They use them interchangeably because they're equal, and that's fine. You can use these back and forth because they are equal to each other. 0.5 and 1 half are equivalent or equal. But let's don't just accept that that's true. Let's see. Let's see if we can prove it. Let's try to show that. So the first way we can show it is down here with a number line. We have a number line that goes from 0 to 1. And it's divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 equal pieces. So that means each of these pieces is one of the 10 equal pieces, or 1 tenth. So looking back at this decimal up here, this 5 is in the tenths place. So we can also say 0 0.5 is 5 tenths is another way to read that decimal or we could say 5 tenths. So if this distance here is 1 tenth, if we travel another one, we've gone 2 of the tenths, 2 of the 10 equal spaces. So to get to 5 tenths, we're going to travel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the tenths. And right here, we have 5 tenths. We could write it as a fraction, or we could write it as a decimal. So we found 5 tenths on this number line, but let's see if that really is the same as 1 half. This distance here from 0 to 1, if we were to block that off, kind of mark it off, this point right here where we said 5 tenths, this distance, this whole distance that we traveled, is this much. And we can see here that this is, in fact, half of the distance between 0 and 1. This is halfway. So 0 0.5 and 1 half are at the same point on a number line. So that's one way to show they're equivalent. Another way we could show that 5 tenths and 1 half are equal is with a fraction model. So here we have a rectangle. And let's try to show 1 half. Let's start with 1 half this time. So if we split this rectangle in half, here we're trying to show half, 1 out of 2 equal pieces. So we'll shade 1 half, one of the two pieces. So this is 1 half. And now let's try to show that this is equal to 5 tenths. Remember, this 5 is in the tenths place. So now, instead of halves, we're going to divide our, our rectangle into tenths, 5 tenths. So let's do that. There we go. So we'll make 10 equal pieces for tenths, and we will shade five of them. We want to see five of the tenths. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, and five. Here we've shown five tenths, and we can see that it is equal to one half. One half and five tenths covered the same amount, so they are equal. So we've shown two ways now. One half and five tenths were at the same spot on a number line, which means they're equal. And they cover the same amount of area, which is another way to show they're equal. So 1 half is definitely equal to 0 0.5 or 5 tenths.